What's up, Final Crew? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan, this is Ty Nick. What's up? All right, guys, so we're going to do a uh, band that we've already done before, Tears for Fears, baby. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it has been a while. Those yeah. those were uh, those were hits on our channel. Of course. Well, that's because they are hits. Yeah. <laughs> those songs are fire. Oh, yeah. man. What songs were they? Everybody Wants to Rule the World Oh. and Shout. Yeah. Oh, God. Everybody hey. wants to rule the world. I tell you, that video I saw of down. the crowd going crazy, boy... Insane. Those are all time 80s. And hits shout. Right there. Shout. Yeah. Shout. That it all up. Oh, okay. yeah. We can just say Y'all don't want to see a concert. Y'all yeah. don't want to see a I mean, We don't want to show our talent. I'll just say right now, those are my two two of my favorite songs on the channel. Yeah, <laughs> Without yeah, question. I, like, a lot of times I'll go back and watch our reaction videos. Mm -hmm. Me too. Just, yeah. I mean, they are entertaining. Yeah, yeah. we do watch ourselves. Yeah. And. Those are two that I watch quite often. Yeah. I would. Admit. I watch Year of the Cat maybe once a week. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Today, we're going to get into some newer music that they, ha they have done. So I think you said they just got back together, I believe. Yeah, I've, I've seen it on social media and TV, and I was like, oh, wow. They're back. <laughs> They're back, baby. And everybody says I look like one of the guys. Oh, yeah, that's my right. Gosh. Kurt you, Smith. You do? That's right. You, hey, it, 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 I think so. Me and Kurt. Hey, they're related. <laughs> I don't care what you say. You guys are related somehow. <laughs> Him, Jim Carrey, uh, Adam Sandler. Jim well, Carrey? Yeah. I don't look like Jim Carrey. Well, when he's in this funny mode, he looks like Jim Carrey. It's funny. <laughs> wow. And Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler's like one I, of the yeah, biggest ones. I get Adam Sandler more than anything. <laughs> Today, we're going to do the song The Tipping Point. Dink. <laughs> he, beat me, he beat me too. Always. <laughs> But this is a newer song. This came out on the album The Tipping Point. Came out in February. Mm. And so it's very recent. According to Genius here, it says this was written by Roland Orzabal with help from Charlton Pettis and was heavily inspired by Orzabal's loss of his wife who passed in 2017. Mm. Who That's is very Roland sad. Orzabal, by the way? The other guy. Not Kurt Smith. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's the other member. As the title and lyrics suggest, we will never fully understand what the tipping point is. The point between life and death, as which Orzabal saw in Caroline, his wife, as she got more ill as time went on. So it sounds like this could be deep. This is very deep. You know, this could be, uh, might make us cry for the first time. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> you never know when a tear might drop. Get it? Tear? Tears? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Come on, give Sorry. me some credit here. Sorry. I mean, come hey, on. That was I, nice. Hey, I caught it. But, anyways, we're going to get right into this thing. This is Tears for Fears, the tipping point. Already sounds sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's nice for you. My goodness, it's a vibe. Man. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's a vibe. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Very that, slippery. That post chorus. Oh man, that post chorus hit nice. I was interested to hear how this differs from their older stuff. And it definitely still has some hints of 80s. It does sound a little like sure. them, yeah. But it's a lot more modernized than I was expecting. Yeah, it is. It sounds kind of trip hoppy to mm -hmm. me, to be honest, which isn't a bad thing. You know, it's nice to see that uh, they have uh, changed, you know, kind of adapted to the times. Oh, yeah. They got to make it more if appealing to the common man. Like, to be honest, like, this this kind of sounds like a new artist to me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would never expect that this was Tears for Fears. No, no. Yeah, e emotional, again, kind of trippy in a way, but uh, it still has their DNA in it. You know, like I said, they are just so good with their soundscapes just placing you in another world. From this unforgiving place. Like on their bottom. Yeah. Can you just do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where the sunlight splits the eye. Life is cruel. Life is tough. Life is crazy. Then it all turns to dust. Mm. the 80s right there. Mmm. <laughs> that echo boy. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That was that flavor you was talking about they just threw in there, you know? Yeah. It's like they built a new robot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, back then, they just kind of had the robots that, you know, they just had, like, a few commands. Mm -hmm. And this is the type of robot that you see nowadays. Here's the robot that they're working on in Massachusetts or something. And it's sitting there doing backflips and, like, shooting people and stuff. <laughs> That's what this robot is now, man. They see the buttons now. They're like, oh, we didn't have this back in the day. Let's go. What's <laughs> oh, <yeah>. this? <laughs> they probably got excited to make that kind of music now. I would never expect this was Tears for Fears. But at the same time, you can tell it's like a modernized 80s type of thing. It's just very pleasant to hear this type of sound nowadays. You know, it tries to... People try to recreate the 80s, and it's like, just, just leave it in the 80s, okay? <laughs> like, the 80s has plenty of great music. But when you have a band that was actually there... At that time, they just know how to do this. Exactly. <laughs> okay, they're like, we, we've been here, we're one of the originators. Life is tough, life is crazy, then it all turns to dust. Yeah, I like that line. We I love how they brought that down. Yeah. It's still echoing. Tipping boy, tipping boy. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So who's that ghost knocking at my door? You know that I can't He's five arms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah it did just, sound like a Tears for Fears song. Yeah. As uh, Jim Carrey would say, I like it a lot. Yes. <laughs> it's probably going on the playlist, guys. It is a playlist. <laughs> yeah, definitely a playlist. For Did, sure. Didn't see it coming, to be honest. You know, a lot of times when, like, 
these older bands take a long break and they come back and it's like should have never came it's back. It's like, well, that was underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I hate to say it, but I was kind of expecting it to be right. a little underwhelming. Uh, and it's certainly not as good as the two songs we've done. It's good, though. It, it's good. I can listen to this uh, a bunch of times. I feel like uh, even if you didn't know who Tears for Fears was, you know, those Gen Zers out there, <laughs> if you somehow have never heard the two songs we've done before, uh, you put this on, they're probably going to like it. The guy's hair is long. <laughs> <laughs> it is a long white hair. I like that for some reason. I don't know. He just, you know, he kind of looks like like an older day grow. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. That is yeah, one thing I, I yeah. noticed. The beat, you could tell, like, everything that they were doing was, like, computerized. You know, the same thing they were doing back then. Yeah, electronic drums. You know, yeah. like, it's just 808. It's fire. Usually, like, like you said, when people, like, take a break and they try to come back, it's usually not the same. I was kind of expecting them, like you, I didn't expect them to be this good. I did see, like, the modern come out, though. I was expecting modern. Nowadays, you have to be modern or people are not going to like you. It's just is what it is. Right. You know, unless you're, like, an old head, like, you know, like us. Like, we can we'll, we can vibe <laughs> with a lot of stuff that's back in the day. So, it don't matter us. But most people, though, like you said, the Gen Z people, if they heard this, they would probably like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if they heard maybe, like, Shout, they'd be like, oh. Possibly. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. You know, but then I, this, they'd be like, oh, yeah, I can, I can vibe. Plus, another thing is, this is like, I can fall asleep to this song. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the lyrics might be the best to fall asleep to. That, I know. But, yeah. Hey, that is it's fire. It's very soothing. You know. But that is fire. I, I'll go sleep to that. It, it's like, it hypnotizes you. you. No, but it, I, no, sorry. I was just going to say, no, it is smart that they modernize it, though, because like a, a Gen Zer might see this on the charts and be like, Tears for Fears. And then that gets them going with mm-hmm. the rest of the catalog. Yep. And the go back and listen to the old songs. Yeah. It, so a bunch of bands have done that. I mean, yeah. you, you have to adapt. Sure, I've um, done that. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> I'm like, what's the rest of their songs are? You know, I, I go back. You know, I go through the rabbit holes, baby. Sometimes if it's yeah. they're they're really good. You know, I like the dreamy mm-hmm. sound. I've said this a lot. As soon as they came out with the, they did all the little the buttons and the and the electronic stuff. I said it's gonna be fire. And they do the at least dream, to me at least. Yeah, they do the dreamy vibe a lot. But the thing is, there's always so much other stuff going on. Yeah. That it, it just always works. Look, I'm not the type of guy that usually likes a lot of music where you don't really hear a lot of real instruments. But when you layer it right, when you have a bunch of you know different sounds coming along here and there, and you place them in the right sections. Uh, and then these dudes can sing. They know how to use effects, but not overdo it. Right. You know, yeah, they, they yeah. do it just the right. It's like Goldilocks. It's it's just right. <laughs> Their music is always emotional as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's why they work, man. They're just they're just masters at soundscapes. Heck of a career. You know, I'm glad they got back together and uh rest in peace to uh Roland's wife. That's that's part of why this song was uh you know, I mean, I didn't have me in tears. I mean, at the beginning, I thought it. I, I thought, thought it, it was going be. to have me in tears. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like sentimental. <laughs> for some yeah. reason, I knew those roses were going to fall. He did call that. Yeah, yeah. Said, I just saw the little fall. bar or something. <laughs> I was like, you know what? That looks like it's on something. It's going to fall off yeah. that that edge or whatever. So it is sad, but I kind of feel like they. Uh, put it more in a positive light. It's more of like a feel-good yeah, yeah. vibe, I think. Credit to them, man. After all these years, it's not easy to make something that good. Yeah, tears for fears. Three for three. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.